In this video, we're going to talk about explicit geometric formulas. The best kind of geometric formulas. And we're going to look at their definitions and some notation and then jump right into some examples. So first, let's review the not so useful recurs recursive formula that relies on the previous term to determine the next term. So here's an example of a recursive geometric formula. The first term is 25. Write that down here. That's what this, this means. The first term is 25. And then I'm going to multiply each previous term by 2 to get the next term in the sequence. So this is recursive because I had to know that a, a sub 3 was 100 in order to get the next term in the sequence. It's not really very useful, especially if I want to find the 26th term. I have to do all the ones that came before. So an explicit formula is better. An explicit formula of a sequence allows you to find any term in the sequence without having to find the previous terms. And here is the generic formula for geometric sequences. A sub n just says this is the number of term that I'm trying to find. A sub 1 is the value of the first term. R is your common ratio. And then n minus 1 is always going to be n minus 1 in the formula. So let, let's look at some examples. But first, before, let's um, understand where it comes from. So this was the previous example that we did where it was 25 and then 50 and then 100 and then 200. So you can see every time I'm multiplying by 1, 2, that's less than, that's 1 less than the term number. And then I multiply by another 2 to get the third term. I have two twos, a total of two twos. <laughs> two twos. That's 1 less than the term number. And then I multiply by another term, that's 1 less than the term number. So that's where this comes from. The first term of 25, and then the common ratio, which in this case was 2. And then I have 1 less. So this was like 2 to the third power here. And this is 2 squared. The exponent is 1 less than the term number. That's where the n minus 1 comes in. Okay, so that's how, I, how we get it. Let's do some examples now. So write and simplify an explicit formula to represent the error. Can I just cross that out instead of redoing the video? Is that okay with everybody? Represent the geometric sequence. It's a geometric sequence. And then find a sub 8. All right, so the first thing we need to do is the first term is 7. That's easy to identify. And then we need the common ratio. What is the common ratio here? What's 14 divided by 7? 2. What's 28 divided by 14? 2. What's 56 divided by 28? 2, and so on and so forth. So that's times 2 to the n minus 1 power. That's my GM explicit formula. Okay? Now, find a, a sub 8. So my first term is 7 times 2 to the n minus 1, so 2 to the 7th power. I have 1 less 2 than the term number I'm trying to find. So I'm going to pull out my handy dandy calculator and I'm going to do 2 times 7 times 2 to the 7th power. Now just incidentally, that 7 is only on the 2, so it's 2 to the 7th power times 7. It's not 7 7s as well. And the answer is 896. And that was a whole lot better than finding all seven terms that came before a sub 8. Hopefully now you have a little bit better understanding of how to find explicit geometric formulas. 